finally there is hope for this series. Bad Batch Episode 7 was the light at the end of the tunnel that we needed, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey AAC Universe, I'm your Star Wars expert Grand Admiral Joey and welcome back to the Animated Apparel Company YouTube channel. Episode 7 of The Bad Batch finally had the results to one of the biggest buildups we've been waiting for, and that's Wrecker's chip finally malfunctioning due to his many head injuries. But before we start, help keep the lights on in this place and head over to AnimatedApparelCompany.com right now and use the offer code Joey, you'll get 20% off everything in your car and it'll help support this channel. So in this episode, we're back in Sid's bar and the series really took a moment to build up the connection between Wrecker and Omega right out of the game. We also see the hooded person in the ending of the last episode. From the way that the figure was hanging out in the back of the bar with the hood, I wanted to say that it was a Jedi, maybe even Obi-Wan. And when the figure's eyes are shown and the music plays, I just thought, this has to be a Jedi, it can't be anybody else. But I was super excited to see Rex, as I knew that this was the link that the Bad Batch needed in order to get the chips out of the team's head before it was too late. And for Wrecker, it was almost nearly too late. And the scenes leading up to Wrecker being incapacitated by Rex were intense, as everyone was immediately a traitor and they had to be terminated, including Omega, which it got really close to being. Also, I think that immediate snap between a loved and feared character has always been really cool to experience. I think Star Wars has always delivered on this. But luckily, Wrecker was stunned by Rex before he was able to do any crazy harm to anybody. His chip was removed and the other team's chips were removed, making them completely invulnerable to Order 66. One thing that I really loved about this episode and episodes like number four are the dynamic uses of the lights and dark rooms. The style and the way that they glow off the characters and around the scene always look incredible and make darker surrounding episodes more enjoyable. I was a little bit disappointed that the team and Rex are going to go their separate ways as I was hoping to get a little bit more action with my favorite red clone, but hopefully they meet up in another episode down the road. Also, now that the team knows how to remove the chips, there still may be hope for Crosshair and getting the chip out of his head, bringing him back to what we consider the good side. Or maybe the chip in Crosshair has been amplified too much and it won't be usable on him or maybe potentially kill him. And I only say that it might kill him because I think there was a small part of us all that thought the Wrecker was dead when he came out of the medical bay until Tech confirms that he was still alive. And the team does talk about how the chip removal process is dangerous and could go wrong. Omega even says it herself, and maybe this is a foreshadow of a potential removal going wrong and maybe killing Crosshair. So we've seen Rex, we've seen Saul Guerrero, we've seen Fennec Shan, and I think that's probably all the characters from the original trailer that cameoed. So any new cameos will come as a definite surprise, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of those. And I guess one other small thing that I would say negatively about this episode is that I would have liked there to be more interaction between Echo and Rex as Echo is a reg as well and fought under Rex in the 501st. The characters could have used their backstory buildup to show some more significance in Rex finding the team and Echo probably knows that about every brother that he had in the 501st has turned or was killed in the last season of the Clone Wars but it would have been cool to see Rex explain that to Echo and that would have made the bar scene even more dramatic than it already was but it was still really really dramatic and I liked it. But speaking of dramatic I think that we're probably in the part of the series where things will be less mission written and we'll get to see more of the dramatic and intense moments of the series. Personally, I think this was up there with episode one of favorite episodes for me and I always like it when Star Wars gets a little dark and this was definitely one of those episodes. But now I want to hear from you. Did you like this episode of The Bad Batch? Do you like the darker Star Wars content like I do and do you think there's hope for Crosshair now that the team knows how to remove the inhibitor chips? Let me know in the comments below as I love interacting with our AAC universe. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell notification button so you don't miss out on more episodes of Bad Batch reviews every week and our other AAC content. I'll catch y'all all during AAC Live this Thursday with me and Aaron, so make sure you come back Thursday and check that out. Bye!